MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. A good one on tap for you this afternoon between the Baltimore Orioles and the New York Yankees. Masahiro Tanaka, the right-hander from Japan, will get the starting assignment in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, every team needs a pitcher like this one here. His numbers aren't going to blow you away. Career ERA just under four. But one thing he does, he takes the ball every five days, throws strikes, and gives his team a chance to win every single time he goes out there. He'll, He'll be fun to watch in this one here today. The Stepping field. into the box, Austin Hayes. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Called a strike on the outer half, 0 and 1. First pitch, 1 o'clock. Now here's the pitch. Outside for a ball, one and one. Checks his swing, but this will be strike two call. The one two. Still a ball and two strikes. Not an altogether bad afternoon for baseball. 54 degrees here at first pitch. To two balls and two strikes now. Fastball is swung on and missed, and there is your first out of the contest. Anthony Santander, the next to bat. In past meetings Anthony with Tanaka, he's a 333 hitter. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Started the breaking ball far too inside that time, laid off for ball one. And there is our officiating crew in this one, calling balls and strikes, Mr. Freddie Ferguson. You know, this is one of the guys behind the dish, Freddie Ferguson, Dan, that the rookies are going to have a tough time with. If you've played in the league for a little bit, you understand that he's got his own zone. Uh, you touched on it, d -Roy. I think he rewards the veteran players, not only pitchers, but position players. He makes the younger players. He makes them earn their keep. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. He doubled up on the heater right there. First one, he blew right by him. That second one, timing was on point, base. and he was able to get a hit. Alberto. And digging into the batter's box will be Hanser Alberto. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Comes set and the 0-1. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing in two. 0-2 oh, count. You could do just about anything you want right now. Up, down, in, out, hard, soft. Good time to be a pitcher. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Pretty textbook pitching right there. Jump ahead and count 0-2, oh, the and then start working Renato. outside the zone. Easier said than done, but that's the way you do it. And here's Renato Nunez. As Tanaka jumps ahead of him here at strike one. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. No, that's low. Going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike. Down the third baseline, but this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. 
And a slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Orioles leave one. Orioles nothing. Yankees coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. John Means, Kansas-born left-hander, will be doing the pitching. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, every team needs a pitcher like this one here. His numbers aren't going to blow you away. Career ERA just under four. But one thing he does, he takes the ball every five days, throws strikes, and gives his team a chance to win every single time he goes out there. He'll be fun to watch in this one here today. Here Four and that'll Yankees. bring up Miguel Andujar. He'll lead pitch. things off here in the bottom Miguel. half of the first. Andujar. Now here it comes. behind 0 and 2 now and on 0 and 2 he misses with a fastball stone cold take right there that fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench and here's three. a slider strike three called and that'll be the first out of the inning Batting second. Now to the plate, the DJ LeMayhew. DJ LeMayhew. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Nope. And he ball takes one. ball one. Ball one, no strike. Now it's nope. two and oh. Going to be a long day if he executes like this, punching tickets right out of the gate. Three and oh now. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. Here it is on three and oh. Aye. And a good comeback there. It's three and one. Now that's a really curious pitch selection. 3-0 and turn to the slider. You have to wonder if maybe he's lost the feel for his fastball. One out, nobody on. Hard hit ball to second. And there's out number two. Batting third. The right fielder. Aaron. Judge. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. First delivery to him on the way. Smoked on the ground up the middle. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. Well, there's no denying he was all over that fastball. That's what we like to refer to as a little Matic bit of an four. ambush. Oh, oh, Peter gets hitter. turned around. Giancarlo Stanton. Giancarlo Stanton now. He gets a shot to hit here in the inning following the two-out single. Yeah, and that hit might not amount to much, but anytime you could extend an inning and give a guy with plenty of pop a chance to swing it, the outlook of an inning changes dramatically. First offering on its way. Judge leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. This one's in the dirt. Runner holds as the count moves to two and one. Slider misses and he's in danger of losing him here. Three and one. 
good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got the count in his favor, three and one. Hit hard on the ground to third. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. The Yanks leave one, and this is still a nothing, nothing ball game. Stepping up to the plate, Andrew Velasquez. He'll be the one to lead off against Masahiro Tanaka. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Man, that's a great take right there. Backdoor slider just missed the outside corner. This guy must have a really good eye. Most guys swing at that pitch. Up top, it's 2-0. the strike on the inside part of the plate two and one hey that pitch right there caught entirely too much of the plate curveball that rolled over the heart of the plate he's got to pull the trigger on that one and this will be fouled away here now the two two and that's a swinging strike three in the dirt and he makes the throw to first. Velasquez is retired, and there's one away. Batting pick. The third base. Now batting, Rio, Rio Ruiz. Ruiz. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Left fielder is on the move. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Batting seven. So bases are the empty here with two gone, okay. and that'll bring up the shortstop, Jose Iglesias. Now the pitch. Yeah. No score here as we play inning number two. On the ground, up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front hit. shoulder in, the right kept his hands hit. inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. In now, D.J. Stewart. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. And a splitter here, but he had a bit too much on it as this bounces up to the plate. Heading out towards shallow right. Judges under it, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. One left for the Orioles. We'll go to the bottom of the second, no score. So striding in, Torres. He He'll Four start things Yankees. out here in a tie ball Not game. Stop. Labor. Torres. Here comes the first pitch. Who started him with the change, and it's nothing in one. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Swings through it for strike number two. Got a pitch to the ballpark's dimensions right here. Love the execution of that pitch down in the zone. Got to keep the ball in the yard. Even count, two balls and two strikes. The 2-2. Two -two. Full count now, three and two. Well, that sets up a big pitch right here, Matt, because you don't want to lose the leadoff guy in a scoreless game. It's tough to work around the leadoff walk. 
And he takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. Well, that was a slider in a 3-2 count, and it just didn't good. tempt him enough to get a no good swing. Here. A good job of pitch recognition and knowing the strike zone to draw the free pass there. And that'll bring up Tyler Wade. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. From the stretch. Nope. And he lays off there 1-0. Count 1-0. Oh. Oh. 2-0 and oh to the Yankees left fielder. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. Outside, 3 and 0 now. Means, it's a guy who throws a lot of strikes, rarely walks people, but what does bite him occasionally is the home run ball. Matt, this is a guy that's not a power type of pitcher, so he needs to rely on being down in the strike zone. One of the keys, he tends to lose being aggressive when he falls behind, and he kind of nibbles around the strike zone. And what happens with that, Matty V, he becomes very predictable. And when you don't have overpowering stuff, you tend to be able to get hit hard. He pops him up toward the left side of the infield. Ruiz battles the sun a bit, but has it for round number one. Batting seven, the center fielder, Clint Frazier. Into the box now, Clint Frazier. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. From the stretch. Ball one, no strike. The set and the 1 0 pitch is swung on and missed in that one strike nine. one. From the belt, kicks and deals. Whoa, Change up just off the black, and it's two and one. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. Ground ball foul down the left side. The 2-2. On the ground to second base. This could be two. To Iglesias for one. Relay throw, but it'll be too late as he's well safe at first. Batting eight. The first base. So player. striding forward Luke. now. Luke Voigt. Boy. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Line toward right center. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. Frazier isn't stopping. Here he comes to the plate. And a relay home. And not in time as the run scores. Great that piece of not. hitting here. Man on first. The they're playing in the pole. Kyle. But he crosses them up and goes the other way with it, making the outfielder cover a lot of extra ground. That allowed the runner to come all the way around from first to score. And that was a great piece of hitting. Stepping in now, Kyle Higashioka. As he takes a called strike on the black, it's 0-1. Opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Make a good pitch right here and get your offense back in the dugout after only giving up one run. One and two to the Yankees catcher. Yankees lead this one to nothing here in inning number two. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Oh, 
Got him looking, and that ends the inning. The sights and sounds of a day at the ballpark. Oh, my goodness. Mark, Dan, and I are back with more after this. And that'll bring up the catcher, Chance Cisco, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Cisco. Now here's the pitch. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Fastball over the outside, but in there for a strike. I get it. He wants to see this guy's repertoire, but now he's behind in the count. Puts himself in a tough spot to hit. Now a ball lined to the left side, but this will be a foul ball. Struck him out. Now that is Austin Hayes, the next to bat, looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Bases are empty, one man out. Line drive to left. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. Hard bullet single to left field on a pitch that was kind of middle down in the zone, D. Rowe, and he's going to have to make some better pitches than that one. Yeah, if he's going to leave pitches over the heart of the plate, he's going to have a long night. The middle of this order does serious damage. So now to the plate, Anthony Santander, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. One pitch on its way. Santander digs in at 6-2 and swings the bat from both sides of the batter's box. He's in his third season as a major league player. 0-2 oh count. Here's the pitch. The count is one and two. Pretty standard fastball right there, 0-2. Oh now he's changed the eye level of the batter so he can start working something in like an off-speed curveball down in the zone. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Now a swing and he pops him up. This is right out in front of the mound. And Duhar has to shade his eyes from the sun, but he stays with it for round number two. Now Digging that, in for his second, second at bat, Hanser Alberto. He looked to bounce Alberto. back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. A runner on first with two away. Ground ball sent back up the middle. LeMayhew's got it. Quick throw to Torres to retire the side. Orioles leave one. It remains one nothing. to the top of the order now and Beating striding up. into the, the plate Yankees. it'll be Miguel Andujar the third baseman Miguel Andujar ready with the first pitch here it comes and that misses inside, inside one and oh one ball one strike the count A 1 1. Back up the middle. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And he'll make it to first easily on what will almost certainly be ruled an infield now single. 
Second nice base effort by the shortstop DJ. right there. Kept it in front of him. Rob that's a, that's all he could do right there, Dan. You know, dealer in a spot like that, that's an infield single. That's a tough play. Just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job. But any way you look at it, that should be scored a base hit, and I'm sure it was. Oh, that's down. Ball one as he lays off below the zone. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Fouled away. Nobody out, runner on first. One and two to DJ LeMayhew. To two balls and two strikes now. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Full count. Here it comes. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Santander waits on it. One away. Like the plate, Aaron, Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge. First pitch of the at bat. Hey. Oh, one pitch on its way. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. And that'll get down for a base hit. And as a result of that errant throw back in, he'll advance 90 feet here and move now up from it. second to third. That designated hitter. Well, that's what's so disappointing as a pitcher, Dero. You make a really that's good pitch, and yet this guy's so big and so strong, he's able to muscle it into right field for a base hit. Yeah, you hand your batting gloves to the first base coach right there, and you thank your lucky stars. That's a nice A.B. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. One ball, no strikes to count. Here comes the 1-0. And it's fouled away. Runners are at the corners with one man out. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. He's fallen behind now. Three and one. Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit in now. Three and one, two on. He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. I think he was trying to now be a batter. little too fine there, and a walk is the result. Labor. Well, the good news is he has Go a force red. at every base. The bad news? A single probably drives in a couple of runs. Stepping into the box, Torres. Given the situation, he's got an opportunity to break this game wide open. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hard liner to center field. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And not in time as the run scores. Obviously, he's hoping for more up there with the bases loaded. But you can't be too upset with the sack fly. Way. Digging in to try it again. Tyler Wade. Two on, two out for him here in the third. He's set. Here it comes. Aye. The 0-1 on its way. 
There's a breaking ball, but it's laid off and doesn't find the zone. Swing here on the fastball, and this will get fouled off to the right side. Two men are on with two men out. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. And he goes and chops this one out towards second. On to second for the force out, and the side is retired. A run on two hits for the Yankees. Three innings complete. The Yankees lead it two to nothing. All set for the start of the fourth. Ready now for Baltimore. Renato Nunez. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Strike one to start the at-bat. Here's the 0-1. Well, we got one ball, one strike. Oh. Good take there to lay off the high fastball. That's and good. a pretty good take there on the slider down. It's ball three. Hey, throwing the ball great up until this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. And he lays oh. off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stanza number four. Well, they haven't been able to scratch a run across yet, so maybe this number walk will jumpstart their offense a little bit. Digging in the switch hitter, Andrew Velasquez, looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Velasquez, just 24 years of age, he was selected in the seventh round during the first year player draft of 2012. Hey, this guy's got a chance to be an absolute steal. Being drafted where he was, there are definite signs that he has a chance to make an impact at the big league level. In the dirt here, and he'll rein it in as the count moves to one and two. Ball. Strike three called, and he didn't like it, but there's the first out. I think we're starting to see the frustration mount from this offense. It's been a pretty dominant performance the on the mound, and these hitters no. have had no answer mm -hmm. for anything he's throwing up there. That will wear on you if it lasts throughout most of the game like it has here. Rio Ruiz to the plate now. As Tanaka jumps ahead of him here at strike one. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. one's in the dirt and forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch well I know what he was thinking there the pitch before was way out of the zone and he was hacking so the pitcher says hey if he's going to swing at that how about this solid strategy except this time it didn't work out and it's a wild pitch Hit sharply on the ground to the left. And that's through into left, a base hit. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one away. This is their time right here. This starting pitcher has been on point all day. Runs have been at a premium. They have an opportunity to do something special right here. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Iglesias. He offers at it and hits it in the air to left. Catch made in left. Here comes the runner for the plate. 
And they are on the board with the sack fly as this is now a two to one game. The bat. That was a good Number controlled 24. swing out of him there. And that's exactly what he was hoping to do. Get it into the outfield and pick up the RBI. So stepping in, DJ Stewart. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. From the stretch. Nope, at the ball. Hits are now even at four apiece. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. Into the second deck and gone. A two-run blast to straightaway right field as the Orioles move in front here three to two. There's still some game left to be played, but that one swing could end up being a deciding factor in this one. To the plate now, next Chance Cisco. The catcher. As Tanaka jumps ahead of him here at strike one. First time up, he went down looking. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. Three runs already home here. Ball and two strikes to the Baltimore backstop now. If I'm in the box, you take a step out right here. Take a deep breath after that high fastball. you got to be leery of him burying something in the dirt. Pulled toward right center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away. And that ends the inning. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. And Baltimore has taken a three-to-two lead. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already. And he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Bottom of the inning now. Next for New York, Clint Frazier. For the Yankees, the center fielder. Clint. Here's the first pitch to him. Frazier. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here, capitalize on the momentum his batters have. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And there's out number one. Now batter. Trying to pick things the up where he left man. off. Luke Voigt. He'll try to follow up the Four. double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next AB. We're in the fourth. Three to two is our score. A high fastball is in there. Your idea of working the count goes out the window. You're frustrated right now. Down 0-2. Got to find a way to grind. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate. And he'll have another shot at it here. The next 0-2. And right into the shift. But a foul ball. And the count holds it 0-2. Fastball laid off well below the knees. Two runs, four hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. The great equalizer, the changeup. That was a really good job of getting now him to offer it. that Catch one it. out of the zone. And it was all set up by the Big fact that he got ahead of the count and forced the hitter to have to protect. That's the name of the game. At the plate, Kyle Higashioka, as he connects on the first pitch with a fly ball to center. 
And Hayes will make the catch. The side is retired. So the Yanks go one, two, three. They trail three to two. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Austin Hayes. And Dan, I'm sure the starter on the mound would like to hit the rewind button on that last inning. Oh, no doubt about that, Mac. That was a really rocky frame, but clearly not enough to chase him from this game. We'll see if he's still shaking a bit or if he's able to put this behind him. First pitch coming. Here it is. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Now batting. At the plate, Anthony Santander. A hit in two tries so far. Here's the first pitch to him. Count one and oh. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Hanser Alberto will be next. The three one. Fastball too high, ball four. Up next for the Orioles, the second baseman. Hunter. Digging in Alberto. once again, Hanser Alberto. No hits to this point. <laughs> From the stretch, here's the pitch. At the ball. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Runner at first here, one man out. Not close. It's 2 and 0. Clearly working the bottom of the zone, trying to get a ground ball for a double play. Now the 2 0. And this one gets away. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Well, the graphic here isn't going to properly show just how far that pitch was from the strike zone. That thing wasn't even close, and I think it made the decision to move up a base pretty easy to make. Here's the 3-0 and pitch. That one's in there, 3-1. and one. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Wade is over just a few steps to his right as he takes it for round number two. Now back. So two are gone now in the Baltimore fifth. And digging in next at the plate will be Renato Nunez. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. Double barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now. A lefty and a right hander start to get loose. Fifth inning of play here in a 3 2 ball game. Runs outside, so it goes to 2 0 now. Like to see him be looking to the opposite field with this next swing. Pitcher's trying to work you away. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Frazier will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. One left for the Orioles, but they still lead it three to two. Here's Miguel Andujar now. He's one for two in the ball game. 
Miguel. First pitch of the at bat on Andrew its way. Hall. The wind up and the 0 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And a check swing here, but the bat clearly breaks the plane as he set down for the first out. Didn't mess around much in that at bat, Dan. You know, that was pretty man. impressive, Matt. I really yeah. like a pitcher that trusts Mom, and works off you. his fastball. Right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go grab some bench. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike oh one. Two runs, four hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Popped him up. Alberto is there for it. And he makes the catch for the second out. No right fielder. So Number bases 99. are empty here with two gone. Aaron. And that'll bring up the former American League yeah. Rookie of the Year, Big Aaron Judge. On its way is pitch number 75. Now a big fastball, oh, and he's well behind it with the swing. Man, this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one, mostly because he's getting ahead. 70% of the batters. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. One, two, three, go the Bombers. They're down three to two. Striding forward now is the DH, Andrew Velasquez. He was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. and And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right-hander starts to loosen up. The 1-0 home is in there for strike one. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now batter. So Perfect. digging in now, Rio, Rio Ruiz. He's Ruiz. one for two in this one. First pitch of the at bat. And he takes a pitch that's ruled a strike at the knees. Pretty liberal strike zone there. It's 0 and 1. Pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Three twos are scored here in inning number six. And he fouls this one off. The one two he is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike three. I'll tell you, he's showing no signs of tiring right now. He still looks razor sharp from what I can tell, so I think he might last a while longer if he can keep this up. Into the box now, Jose Iglesias. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Wind up and the 0 1. Mine to the right side. And that is in there for a two out base knock. You never want to beat a pitcher that breaks a guy out of a slump. The but this guy was too Number good. You knew it was a matter of time before he started barreling baseballs. That gives him a multi hit game, and I'm sure he's feeling good about it. DJ Stewart will stand in again as we flash you back here to the fourth inning. This was a two run home run that was definitely one of the big blows of the ball game to this point. He's set and the pitch. That's the ball. 
Oh, that's a tough call for Blue right there. Either way you call it, somebody doesn't like it. But hey, that's the life of an umpire. And he watches one miss outside, 2-0 and now. Not even close with the 1-0. He needs to get back in the zone, but be careful. Work the quadrants. Now the 2-0. He is taken, strike one. Two out with the man at first. To two and two now. Hey, he's done an amazing job of settling down. Two innings ago, I thought they were going to run him out of here. But now he's close to posting two shutout innings as a response. Lays off the splitter that time, and it's full three and two. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Down the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. A payoff pitch one more time. And he struck him out. His eighth punch out of the ballgame, and that one ends the inning. Orioles leave one, and it remains a 3-2 ball game. Your Sean Armstrong enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 43, Sean Armstrong. Striding forward now, the Yankee cleanup hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. He'll lead things off here in this one-run contest. Giancarlo. First pitch of the at-bat. A ball and no strikes. The 1-0 is taken for ball two. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. And a good comeback fastball there. It's two balls and a strike. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. Ball and he three. misses low here, so the count goes to three and one. Down by a run, your guy needs to get on any way he can. His mentality has to be to shrink the strike zone to, like, the size of a soup can. No reason to swing at a pitcher's pitch. A good pass at that ball. Just a little late, and now the count's full. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. There's a swing and a high, deep drive headed for the right field corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Now here's a check swing and they appeal down to first. No swing. So that's ball four. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, now it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving so one up. Where he can really hurt you. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. He's ready. Here's the first offering. In the air now, out to right field. Right fielder is on the run. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Now Digging in now for the Yankees. Fielder. Tyler Wade, Tyler. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. First delivery to him on the way. Popped him up. Alberto is calling for it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. So it's a oh, runner at first game. with two men out, the and that'll field. bring up the outfielder, Clint Play. Frazier. Frazier. From the stretch. Hey. And now a right-hander up and throwing in the Baltimore bullpen. A runner on first with two away. Oh, 
One and one the count to Clint Frazier. Got a ball, one strike. Lays off the slider that time. Two and one. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. Now the 2 1 pitch. The count is 3 and 1. Luke Voigt would be next if they can keep this inning alive. The 3 1. Now here's a check swing, and they appeal down to first. No swing, so that's ball four. He did not want to let the hitter off the hook with two outs, and now he's got a runner in scoring position to deal with. Boy. Into the box now, Luke Voigt, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Fastball catches the black there for a called strike. Well, the Yankees have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to see if they can get it, but now it sure would be a good time. Lined hard toward right center. And this is going to find the alley as he might have himself his second double of the ball game. Now it's cut off. A throw to the plate. And he's out on the tag. That'll end the inning, but they do score one on the play. Yankees forced to settle for one. Seventh inning coming up, and we are all tied at three apiece. Zach Britton is on the pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. The New York Yankees. Number 53, Zach Britton. Leading off for the Orioles, the catcher, Chance. At the plate now, Chance Cisco, as he'll watch a slider that stays inside for ball one. Britton, a six foot three inch left hander, he was selected in the third round during the first year player draft of 2006. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on a superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. Late that time for a strike. Two balls and two strikes to count to Chance Cisco. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. Two two pitches fouled away. Pitch on the way. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate, but probably too good to take, and he's down on strikes for the second time. Yeah, that pitch was right on the black. Beautiful pitch. And even if we had robot umps, he'd still be out. But the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it. Standing in now, Austin Hayes. Owen won the count. And now pitch on the way. One out, nobody on. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. 
no problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back-to-back K's, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. Stepping in now, Anthony Santander. As he'll lay off a slider too low, ball one. One for two in the ball game thus far. Can't get around quick enough, and that'll move the count to one and one. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Two out, nobody on. Fouled off. Again, he sends it out of play. Another one sent foul. Fouled away. On the eighth pitch of the at bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. Three up, three down for the Orioles. No change in the score. It's three to three. Miguel Castro gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Miguel. Castro. Ready now, Kyle Higashioka. He'll start things out here in the bottom of inning number the seven. Kyle Higashioka. First pitch on its way. Hit out towards second. And that'll get through into center. So there's your possible go-ahead run on base now to lead off the inning. Now batting third baseman, Miguel Andujar. To the plate now, Miguel Andujar. And it's grounded just foul down the line. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Boy, was he ever fooled on that pitch. It's 0-2 now. Made him look silly with that one. Ready on 0-2. And, and it's fouled away. Working for the punch out and the offering. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. That was some nice execution on that pitch. The Spotted it nicely the down base. around the bottom he of the can. zone. And when you do that, Love especially with you. two strikes, not a lot of guys are going to hurt you. You're going to get a lot of ground balls and swings and misses down there. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. The 1 0 home is offered at and missed for the first strike. One one home is laid off for ball two. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone.
Now the 2 1 pitch. Runners going. Here's a ball swung on and lofted in the air out toward right center. And that's in there. Base hit. And with that, the go ahead runs up to second now with only one away. Now battling. Wow, that's the right surprising field. right there. Error. Hit and run tactic used yeah. to perfection. Balls hit to the outfield. The batter does his job. I don't know how that runner's standing on second still. You tip your hat to the outfield to get it in super quick, but he's got to take the chance to get the third. First pitch of the at bat. Starts him out with a slider too low for ball one. Hey, this one's tied late in the game. As a pitcher right now, you just can't lay a cookie in there 1-0. Oh. Too much dip on the sinker. Laid off for a ball. Hey, time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Runners are at first and second with one away. Mm, much too quick on the trigger there. It's two and one. 88 on a changeup? I remember when an 88 mile an hour fastball wasn't all that bad. Man, the game's changing. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Hey, you guys know me. Hitting's a process of elimination, and I'm eliminating the changeup this next pitch. I'm on everything else. And another foul ball. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Don't go too far. The dangerous Giancarlo Stanton gets his shot next. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly broke our tie, but instead it's a foul ball. The next 3-2. Line toward right center. And that is down for extra bases as that ought to plate the go-ahead run and maybe another. Throw comes in quickly here, so that'll hold that go-ahead run at third now with still only one oh, away. Boy, d -Row, there's, there's a case of the hitter. outfield defense playing Just so ball. deep that that ball looked like it was That's extra there. bases all the way, but they were able to cut it off. Yeah, not too many times I would agree. I, I, I'd i love to hear your take on this as well. The no doubles defense, I, I, I kind of never understood it to begin with. I felt like the pitcher, if he can execute the game plan, could keep the ball in front of the outfielders, but right there, boy, I was wrong. That worked. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Giancarlo Stanton comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Hey, the bullpen needs to step up in this situation. I got to believe the manager was hoping for way more than this. The 1-0. The 1-0. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Fouls this one off. The 2 1. Waves and misses for strike number two. Hey, that's the kind of swing you'd like to see a guy take with the bases loaded. He's going for the downs. The 2 2. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. The 2 2 one more time. And he will look at a called third strike. And that go ahead run has to stay right where it is at third with two away now. Now that is. And now a crucial Glaber. spot. Base is loaded. Two men Glaber. gone. And that will bring up the exciting middle infielder, Glaber Torres.
Hoping to keep it tied. Here it comes. Hey, when a pitcher's put in a tough spot, he's usually going to go to what got him here, and that's this guy's slider. Expect to see that more often. Comes set. The 0-1. Here's a line drive. That's down. It'll give him the lead and then some. The go-ahead run will score. It's cut off. So all three runners are in to score. The bat. Dan, you'll take RBIs any way you can get them. But when they give your team the lead in the late hey. innings, man, that feels good. Oh, it is especially good. Especially when you start to score runs late in the game off the ball. You're a pitching boot. When runs are at now a premium, that's one that makes you feel really good Number about yourself. Pick. Hector Velasquez Hector. takes over pitching duties. Velasquez. Looking to get that final out now here in this seventh inning. In now, Tyler Wade, as he swings and lifts it in the air out to left field. And that's going to fall for a base hit. Throw into second. To second now, but he's safe as a run will score on the play as well. Well, that run won't be charged against now him, batting. but he's still Center disappointed. Fielder. His job is Wait. to shut the door down when they Great call on him, and he just couldn't get it done there. Into the box, Clint Frazier. As he'll watch one miss down and in for a ball, 1-0. 0. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Here comes the 1-0. shortstop as he's there to take it in for the third out so it's four runs on five hits no errors and a man left we'll look ahead to inning number eight now the Yankees lead this one seven to three Chad Green has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth All set for the start of the inning into the box Hanser Alberto not the providing much out of the three hold in this one hit this in three at bats so far it doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings down by a bundle it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one here's the first pitch to him fastball taken but that gets the zone for a strike Probably a design take right there. They need base runners, so they're going to make them try to bring the ball in the strike zone. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0 and 2. We're going to see him throw that hard fastball early and often. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Two balls, two strikes. And he just okay. misses inside with the fastball there. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. 
the bat. So here's the cleanup the hitter, Renato Nunez. Renato. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First pitch of the at bat. Nope. That's inside. Right hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. Oh, tough to catch up when it's moving like that. Bases are empty, one man out. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Here's the pitch. And it looked like the fastball got away from him there. The 2-2. Two -two. Bounced on the ground and right at the shifted infielders. On to first, and there were two down. The batter, number eight. And now the designated hitter for the Orioles, Andrew Velasquez. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. First offering on its way. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Runs outside, so it goes to 2 0 now. And now, pitch on the way. Hard hit ball to second. Throw on to Bort, takes care of him, and the inning is over. 1 2 3 go the Orioles. They're down four, it's 7 to 3. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. Leading Settling in now, Luke Voigt. He's two for the three and looking for more here. Boy. He's set. Here it comes. Now here's one hit in the air to the right nope, side. And nope, this one falls, so he'll get another shot. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Well, that's out. Can't get him to chase. It's 1 and 2. Yeah, and if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck, you're going to go out there and throw that same pitch until he proves he can lay off of it. The 1 2. No, that's down. Shot toward right center. Again, a nice clean base hit. His third of the game. Hey, this guy's obviously seeing the ball right now. That's another hard hit single. Three oh, for four the right there. He's looking super the solid at the plate. Kyle. Higgins Pioca. At the plate, Kyle Higashioka. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. The 0 and 1 delivery. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. Now this is hit not all that hard out to second to Iglesias for one but no real shot at two as he's safe easily at first. Now batted third base. So back to the top of the yeah. Yankee order digging in Andujar. Miguel Andujar. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Oh. 
from the belt. Kicks and deals. Can't come out of his game plan right here. He knows he's a known sinker baller. I know it was a four-seamer right there, but get back to that two-seam. It's what his M.O. is. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Runners on first with one down. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees' leadoff man. Favorable call in there for a strike. And he'll strike out here yet again, as it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. Wow, he's just a lost now cause in this one. That's baseman. the fourth time he DJ. struck out in this game alone, Love and that's not you. something you'll forget very quickly. That's about as bad of a day as you can have. And that sends DJ LeMayhew into the box. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. That evens it up one and one. Two out with the man at first. Ball two. two and one. I got two one to count. Here's the 2 1 home. Ball three. Well, this has been a long three, inning already, ball and ball I three. know he doesn't want it to get any longer. I expect a challenge pitch right here. The 3 and 1 pitch. And a ball good at bat that time there. as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. The right fielder, number 99. Aaron. Here's big Aaron Judge. Judge. First pitch coming. Here it is. And that swung on and missed for strike one. After the walk and with runners on the bags, he couldn't afford to fall behind here. Nice job of jumping ahead with strike one. Two down runners at first and second. And that misses one and one. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. In there, two and two. Sinker, three and two now. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Two men are on with two men out. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. Yanks strand a pair, but they lead it by four. It's seven to three. All set to start the ninth in this one. In now, Rio Ruiz. He went down on strikes last time up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ball. Slider laid off for a ball. Boy, that's a tough pitch to take right there. I'm not sure if you're guessing or you're sitting on a pitch, but boy, that was awfully close to being called a strike. Hmm, got caught lunging there as this one's fouled away. Ball. 
And no complaint about that one. That's a strike and it's one and two. Here's the pitch. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. The batter, number 11, shortstop, Jose Iglesias. Now at the plate, Jose Iglesias. Two base hits, both singles to this point. First pitch of the at bat. And he popped him up, but this will land untouched. He's set. Here's the 0 1. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Nothing in two count and the pitch. One ball, two strikes to count. And now a slider in there for a called third strike. And there are two gone now. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys in this now one. The bullpen has looked Number sharp 24. and have backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort. And I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. Into the box now, DJ Stewart. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. The 1 0 home is swung on and missed. Strike one. His heater's got some late ride through the zone. A lot of late swings right now. You're only going to get to that pitch if you get the front foot down early. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. He pulls this one into right, but he will make the catch on the hard hit ball out there, and that will conclude matters here as this ball game is over. Hey, one of the keys to having a good record in baseball is to win some games at home, so this was a big win to win at home in front of their home crowd. And this afternoon's game ends 7 3. The Yanks jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Zach Britton is credited with the win. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.